In the ongoing Philippine Air Force modernization projects, the multi-role fighter acquisition is a highly anticipated project by many. But the PAF's acquisition also involves the acquisition of trainer aircraft that would eventually replace the S-211, which has been in service for decades already. And with this, information was provided that the T-7 Red Hawk was offered to the Philippine government, not only as a trainer but as a light fighter variant, the same category as the Korean Aerospace F-A-50 Golden Eagle. This also includes the other offers Boeing has for other AFP modernization projects. This also came to light as a statement from a United States Air Force official that they are already considering the armed variant of the T-7 Red Hawk. As they stated, the USAF is intent on replacing older F-16 Fighting Falcons with the new armed variant of T-7 Red Hawk that will be known as the F-7. From the information provided to Bond's QPH, Boeing's offer will be leaning more on a light fighter variant of the Red Hawks that is capable of deploying short-range and beyond visual-range weapon systems. This is also in line with the development Kai is doing on the F-A-50s. T-7 Red Hawk is a joint project developed by Boeing and Saab, and the project intends to replace the T-38 Talon as the advanced jet trainer of the United States Air Force. Boeing intends for the Philippines to be the launching customer of the light fighter variant of the Red Hawks. Though as of this time, this offer is still being evaluated as the Philippines also have other offers from other aerospace companies, most notably the Korean aerospace industries. Like the F-A-50 which has the T-50 as its jet trainer variant, Variant. The F-7 will be the equivalent of the F-A-50, and both aircraft are powered by the same power plant, the General Electric F-404. The T-7 Red Hawk has been criticized by many who question how a jet trainer aircraft can join the multi-role fighter acquisition. However, like the F-A-50 that is joining the fray against the bigger F-16 and JAS-39 Gripen in the multi-role acquisition program, an aircraft which is purely developed from a jet trainer aircraft, it's not far for a T-7 to be developed into a capable light fighter the F-7 variant in no time, so much for an aircraft being developed by two giant aerospace companies, Boeing and Saab Defense that have resources to further develop more of the Red Hawks. But due to the urgency of the MRF acquisition, the Philippine government is leaning on proven platforms like the F-16, JAS-39, and the F-A-50 which is already a proven reliable aircraft of the Philippine Air Force. The advanced trainer project of the Philippine Air Force calls for a platform that can be used as trainers but can be converted into an armed or light fighter variant. In today's complex battle space, the distinction between trainers and armed variants is very narrow, as a platform should be flexible to be used in a multitude of missions and be readily converted to different tasks.